The other part of, uh, is to kind of inspect on, do you know if everything's working well? Is everything going well in your project, in your organization? Are people happy here? How do you know if things are going well in, in your world? And can you avoid things going wrong? Right? Can you avoid somebody quitting? Or can you avoid a project failure? And I would argue that if you don't inspect the, and ask the questions, how are we doing? How do we know if we're doing well? How do we know if our customers like our product? If you don't know the answer to that question, then you don't know if you're doing well or not. Right? So from a project perspective, being on time, on budget, on scope, doesn't mean that somebody's gonna buy your product. Right, so how do you know if, if it's actually working and meeting the needs? And how can you avoid challenges? So classic project management might talk about doing a lot of planning. You might do a lot of planning on your vacation. How can I make sure my vacation isn't gonna be a, go wrong? Well, I'll plan it out really well. But I'm sure we can all think about our own experiences or our friends' experiences of terrible vacation stories. No matter how well they were planned, something unpredictable happened that made it go not so well, right? So I don't think that we can avoid challenges. And so the answer to that around uh, resiliency um, and agility is being able to adapt to those things that we maybe can't control or maybe can't plan for, or maybe it's not worth spending all that time planning. So uh, McKinsey kind of came up with this statement of, you know, resilient organizations are ones that are able to pivot quickly. 